Today we're going to be installing Twerp 2221 Jelly Bean on the ASUS Transformer Prime. If you're on Ice Cream Sandwich and if you're currently rooted, it's much easier. If you're not rooted, it'll be pretty much the same process as this, except you'll need the one that doesn't say JB at the end. I highly recommend upgrading to Jelly Bean anyway. When you scroll down here, you'll find this right here. You can find more information at links at our website, and it'll take you to this page. And from here, you'll just press this, and you'll choose what device you have. There is a lot of devices that are supported. The Transformer Prime happens to be up here at the top. I will have links to both this page and this page in the description of the video you're currently watching. You need a bootloader to be unlocked. Check. I do have a video on how to unlock your bootloader. It's pretty easy. Just download the APK, install it, open it, and keep pressing accept, yes, and moving on. We strongly recommend you make a backup of your device. This is very true. I have a video titled NV Flash for the Transformer Prime that will show you how to install the universal naked drivers that you're going to need, and it'll also show you how to back up your NV Flash stuff. That way, if you break your device during this process, you can easily restore it. I'm going to warn you, if you do not have have NV Flash and you are on ICS, you're not being very smart. You need to run this. If you don't run this and you break your Prime, you will end up like my friend and owing ASUS $240 to send in your Prime and have it fixed. Please make sure you run NV Flash if you're currently on Ice Cream Sandwich. If you're on Jelly Bean, as of right this moment, there's nothing you can do. You're just gonna have to run the official unlock tool and continue with this video. But if you're on Ice Cream Sandwich, I can't stress it enough, make sure you run NV Flash. I've never did it before and I made a video showing from start to finish and I'll link to that in the description of this video as well. We're gonna go down here and we're going to download this one for the using ICS or JB ASUS bootloader. If I was an ice cream sandwich, I would be able to do this one considering I have NV Flash. And I'll show you right here. My platform tools, all of my NV Flash stuff is right here. No, you cannot use my token. You cannot use any of my settings at all. Each device has its own unique one. That's why it's very important that you have all these files right here that will restore your device if you brick it. If I brick my Transformer Prime, I don't have to pay ASUS $240. I don't. I can just fix it myself. That's why NV Flash is very, very, very important. The person that bricked their Prime is trying to find a used one and going to sell their old one for parts and will be running NV Flash on his new Prime. <laughs> All right, so we're going to download this one right here. It clearly says dash J B blob. Click on it and it'll take you to the Goo Manager. I'm also going to click on this MD5 and have that download as you'll see right there. If you're on Ice Cream Sandwich. Yes, I want to allow. You'll want to make sure you download this one right here. And who the heck mentioned me? Awesome. We have the blob and we have the MD5. So we're going to click show in folder and then we're going to right click on this one and we can do send to win MD5 sum and it says right there. And on this one, I can edit it with notepad plus plus, copy the MD5 and then go over here, paste, compare. They are exactly the same. You will need ADB and Fastboot for this method. Download the above file that corresponds to your bootloader. This is important. Yes, because you can break your device if you don't do this correctly. Check your MD5. We just did that with MD5 sum. There's a portable version of it as well. Rename to twerp.blob. All right, let's do that. You can press rename or you can click on it and press F2. Twerp in the same directory as your fast boot. Let's do that as well. Cut. We'll just copy it and then go to platform tools and paste. Right there, twerp.blob. Turn on your device and boot in the fast boot. Power on while holding volume down and select the USB icon and hit volume up. Let's do that. As you can see, we're booted into Jelly Bean. I really need to clear up my desktop. Power off. Okay. And then wait for it to shut down. You need to be connected to the computer at this point, as far as I'm aware. Volume down and power at the same time. And then we need to press volume down until we get to the USB icon and press volume up. The computer just made a noise and we are now in fast boot. 
Check, check, one, two, three, audio in sync. All right, so we're back at the computer and we need to basically copy this command right here. And then we need to, oh, it just says the Asus fast boot interface was installed successfully. I am on my Asus G74SX with the second monitor hooked up via HDMI. So it's not recording my desktop, it's recording my second monitor. To get to your platform tools, everybody will have it in a different area. If you're having a 32-bit computer, it'll be under program files. If you're on a 64-bit computer, it'll be under this one. And then Android, Android SDK, platform tools. What I did is I just dragged this and I put it in my favorites. So that way, no matter where I'm at, I can just go up here and press platform tools. Then I'm going to press shift, right click, and then open command window here. All right, so I can right click, paste, and then press enter. Sending recovery, writing recovery. I don't know how long this is gonna take says we're done. So at this point we can do fast boot, reboot, recovery, or not, ADB reboot, recovery. Is it going to do it? We'll find out. All right, no it's not, so we need to do this manually. We're done with the computer. We successfully had twerp recovery on our device, so I'm done. As a transport prime, we're just gonna hold the power button down. It's gonna force it to reboot here in a little bit. And then we can hold volume down in power and then press up. All right, we are now in twerp recovery. You can ADB push the super user or super SU zip to your internal storage, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in a micro SD card. You have two options. You can use SuperSU from Chainfire, which I use several of his apps, including DSLR controller on a daily basis, so I really like this guy a lot. Or you can choose Super User, which is the normal, tried, trusted, and true Super User method to grant things root permission. You just download the zip and you put it on your internal SD card or external. But in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and use this guy's stuff right here. Clockwork My Installable Zip. Click Download. And we're going to show in folder, right click on it, send to SD card. Go back to the Transformer Prime. Alright, so we're going to put the micro SD card in the side of the Transformer Prime right here. You can never remember the direction that it goes in. Remember, you don't have to have one of these if you know how to ADB push stuff to your Android devices. Then we can just choose install, use external SD, and then there it is, Clockwork Mod Super SU and then swipe to confirm flash. At this point, I do highly recommend doing a backup of your current ROM, just in case you mess something up. But I'm trying to save some time here. Device is unlocked. When it boots up, we'll see if we have SuperSU. Obviously, something in the system partition has changed. Otherwise, I wouldn't say Android is upgrading. All right, slide it over and we'll open up our app drawer. Super SU. Since I've purchased the pro version, I'll also download it from the market. Google Play Store. That's downloading, let's also download Titanium Backup. Biggest reason I rooted this thing is so that I could take my backups and restore them from my ice cream sandwich ROM that I had on here. And now that's downloading too. If you want to learn more about Titanium Backup, my video is right there inside the app's description. I also have a different video in the pro version and I have another video that's not currently linked to the market because you can only have one video in there at a time. Successfully installed. Is it going to ask for super user permission? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? Come on, come on. It's taking a minute. Asking for root. Ooh, 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 great. Ha <laughs> ha. 
fixing the warnings is pretty easy. Just go to settings, go to security, and allow for unknown sources is checked. So now we'll also go down here to developer options and turn on USB debugging. Check. Okay. We can open up to turn it back up again. Press this button. Go down here to reload application. I do have the pro version. I can do it from the Google Play Store and just go to backup and restore. And all of my stuff is here. Well, actually, not all of it. I've got to take it from that flash drive that I put it on, or I've got to download my pro version from the Google Play Store, and then I've got to go to Menu, Preferences, Enable Dropbox. Well, actually, I have it on Box.net, so I'll check off Box.net and have it download it. But instead of doing that, I'll just put in my flash drive that I put it on, because we have the dock. Just put the flash drive in the dock and copy over the Titania backup directory to the internal storage on here, and then start restoring stuff. If this video helped you root your Transformer Prime and install custom recovery, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked the video, and it just encourages me to continue making more videos like this. So please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button up there somewhere. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. Peace.